What is going on guys, Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces. Welcome back to another episode of Car Boot Sale Pickups. As you just see in that little previous clip, this is something I picked up a couple of weeks ago that I completely forgot about. This is just, this is crazy to be honest with you. Um, this is like a full latex venom mask. Um, my pal Vic got this for me off of someone. They were gonna put it on eBay. And he said, I'll know someone that wants it. And um, yeah, I paid uh, I paid 20 quid for that. I think that's a really good price. I've never I've never seen one before. Not to this quality anyway. Made in 2007, it's got on the back here. But that is really, really cool. So obviously that's going into the collection. I just need to get myself one of them little heads for it to sit on so I can display it. So guys, before I go into the boot sale stuff, it's been a busy few weeks. Obviously I put out a video last week of me visiting nerd base in Essex um, but in between that and around that I've been buying tons of stock so um, that same day that I visited nerd base I picked up a, a ton of uh, sort of like modern Star Wars figures from the 90s and from the 2000s as well all carded like we're talking about sort of 50 carded figures um, I've not really put anything on social media about them because I completely forgot and I kind of just put them in in the lockup for a minute and also last weekend i picked up a car full of um girls stuff so my little pony Polly pockets care bears rainbow bright just tons of it there is um so i've kind of been going through that um with my missus sorting that out bagging tagging and all that so i've been quite busy and uh, on top of that this weekend just gone i will um i didn't go to any boot sales on sunday but i did go to obviously i've been to a boot sale today, bank holiday Monday, but I did pick up some bits um, through other social media sites like uh, Gum, not Gumtree, uh, Shapok and Facebook. I picked up a ton of carded wrestlers, um, some Ghostbuster figures, and I also picked up some 18 bits, um, which some have already sold. I've sold the books, and I also sold this guy. This guy was part of it as well. This is the, obviously the vintage. Um, BA figure, or Mr. T, whatever you want to call him. So one of my pals has bought that off me. So it's been well, well busy with sort of buying stuff and that. But I did go to a boot sale this morning. I had work this morning. I went to a boot sale before work and I managed to pick up a few um, odds and sods, some nice pieces to be honest with you. Um, so this is one of the pickups I got. This is from the same lady. So we've got a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, like an alarm clock and it's got a demo mode as well so you can kind of test it and think of... <laughs> nice bit of music to wake you up in the morning yeah let's uh stop that <laughs> so i paid three pound for that and then the lady also had this big box of digimon and Pokemon mixed cards, there's, there's, there's got to be a few hundred in there. Um, she only wanted two quid for that, so I paid a fiver for these two bits. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, again, around with the pickups recently that I've got, I don't usually show in video stuff that I've picked up generally off of collectors and that. I normally only do boot sale finds, and for that reason as well, you guys wouldn't have seen recently that I also picked up a big um, Jack Sparrow uh, figure a talking one like an interactive one in his box and at the same time I picked up a giant 2003 uh, Donatello figure from Turtles again guys unless you're sort of following on Instagram and Facebook generally you won't usually um, see them sort of pickups because I don't put them all in the video because I'll be doing videos every other day otherwise so that was one of the pickups another pickup I got was this now this has been used um, and I have spoken to um a, a guy i know a power rangers um collector um empire toys 1138 about this uh mighty morphin power rangers molding and painting set but obviously it's been used but the molds are in there but i kind of just like the artwork to be honest with you really really cool item i'm surprised the box is in such good nick to be honest with you from that many years ago and from the same lady, I also picked up a ton of um, a ton of books as well. I'll get them all up here for you. Just pay a child, pay five p each for these books. It's 
were just mental. I, di I didn't actually see them, they was under loads of other books, there was all kids, um, nursery books and all that. Like I said, 5 pH. so He-Man Masters of the Universe, a trap for He-Man. I've got quite a lot of these in stock, but these are good, they sell at shows and that, they're pretty cool. I've got two Biker Master and Mars ones, Rock and Ride and the Master Motorcyclist. Uh, Ladybirds as well. I've got Garfield Goes Flying, Garfield the Cat. I've got Ghostbusters 2, the book of the film. Uh, Batman, the Warhawk, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Follow My Leader. Um, you know what, these books, I always sell these books for a pound at the show, at shows. So if I can pick them up for 50p or less, I'm happy. And they're just cool books, remind me very much of my childhood. Now this was also 5p. And you can probably see it behind me. I've got this in my own collection. Um, Transformers pop-up book. So, yeah, really cool find for 5p. Not bad at all. Uh, got a My Little Pony annual, 1992. Well, I've got plenty of My Little Ponies in stock now, so that'll go nicely with that lot. And I also got a Biker Mice from Mars colouring book. This had a couple of pages used, but not many. Again, 5p, so all of these totaled to 50p. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, also, picked this up for 20p. I, I'm not researched it yet, I don't know if it's complete. It's got 35 cards in it and that, um, but it, it, it looks old. I had a little brief look on eBay and I couldn't see any in the UK, I could only see some in America. It's um, an MB Kermit the Frog um, card game. I don't actually know. Be the first player to get rid of all your cards. That's the aim of the game, ages five to 10, but a pretty cool little find. Again, I know there's a lot of Muppets collectors out there and that, so they'd probably be interested in that. Um, I picked this and this up from the same person, and I think there was something else. This and this. This is all from the same person. Um, so we got a Sun Gold, like they're like bootleg figures, they did a bootleg of Freddy Krueger, it's like a mummy figure. I paid a pound for that. Um, I've got a cabbage patch doll, I don't know what year this is from, you can tell it's quite new though. There's, the tag doesn't really say, I can't get it. I'd probably say this is probably 90s, it's definitely not 80s this one. Um, like a fairy, paid pound fifty for her. Um, I've got this cool 80s I'd say, but um, yeah it's got to be 80s I'd have thought. Like, boxing ET puppet and I've already sold this to someone so that's uh, that was pretty cool I paid £3.50 for that I don't even know how to get it, to get it to work there we go there you go <laughs> oh the stuff they made and then um, I've got a set of Star Wars uh, bendables I know these are not super popular but I see them I thought I just grabbed them and I've got five characters here we've got, oh, we've got Yoda. Like I said, these are the bendables from the 90s. Um, Tuscan Raider. Admiral Akbar. And Chewie and Han. I paid four quid for the fire, it's probably done, not, not too much in them. And I also forgot about this lot. This actually came from the same woman who had all the books and the Power Rangers mold um, set mold and paint on set just a she had a box of just random figures so i kind of cherry picked um the good one well, i said the good ones but we've got i pay 30p each we've got um i don't even actually know, well i know that's not his weapon because i know that's donatello from turtles weapon with him um willy i think his name is from bucky o'hare I, I don't know if that bat is his weapon to be honest with you it's not, I'll easily find that. Um, we've got the purple alligator from Bucky O'Hare as well. Again, like I said, 30p. Uh, we've got one of them little Mighty Max little mini heads, and the Max, the Mighty Max figure is actually in it as well, which is cool. Uh, we've got a 1981. I think I'd like to say this is Adventure Time, people. I think it is Fisher Price, like a astronaut spaceman. Uh, we've got a Man at Arms figure who, in fairness, although he hasn't got any armour or any weapons, he's got a bit of wobbly legs, he's actually in really good condition. He's really, really clean. 1982, 
tire one, see if his action works. Yeah, his action works really good as well. 30p, like I said, not. You don't often see he man, not so. And um, this little character as well, who was also from Bucky O'Hare, I can't remember his, na his name now, but I know he's from Bucky O'Hare. All 30p. And then lastly but not least, I've got this that was in the same lot. I actually thought it was Mighty Max, it wasn't until I opened it that I realised it weren't. I don't know if any of you guys remember these from Mattel, they were called Horror Pets. And this one's got like a fly in it. I think you, I think you wind them, they wind back, yeah, so you go, he's not doing too good on this. But yeah, there we go. Not bad. Not a bad morning to be honest with you, I was wanting to get to two boot sales but I had to go to work at some point, so unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, amongst picking up all bits and pieces, guys, over the last couple of weeks, girls lots and Star Wars and wrestlers and everything else, um, I also picked up um, this from an old friend of mine, Jay, um, who I've known for oh, like 25 odd years or something from where I used to live um, when I was younger. <clears throat> He messaged me about this and it was full of WWF magazines. I ain't got the WWF magazines up here, they're downstairs. But there was a load of WWF magazines in it as well, the original ones from the 90s with the good covers like Hogan and Warrior and Shawn Michaels and that. Um, but we got this cool uh, synth bag. So I need to give this a nice little clean up. Let's see if you can get a good image there. And um, I'm probably, I've had a couple of inquiries about it, but nothing really solid. Like I said, it needs a good clean up, but if this is not something you see every day, especially like for someone who collects Centurion product, uh, items, I don't, but I'm sure that's not something people see every day. I'm going to get it cleaned up and I'm going to be bringing it to Sandown Park, which is our next show, September the 15th, so only two and a half weeks away. Um, we're gonna have a, I'm going to have a hell of a lot of gear with me including girl stuff so some of the ponies will be coming some of the care bears but i've got so much stuff i've got some some he-man bits i'm bringing out stuff that people probably don't even know i've got to be honest with you and there's a couple of little bits and pieces that i am going to be sort of cherry picking as such um <clears throat> out of my collection because i'm at a point now with collecting where um there's only certain things i really really want um and there's certain things in my collection I look at and I think, you know what, I've had my time with it, I've enjoyed it, I think it's time for someone else to enjoy it. There are aspects of my collection I would never sell, so like Gremlins, for example, is a big thing. But there's a couple of Masters of the Universe bits I'm pulling out and have pulled out, to be honest with you, um, over the last sort of six months that I'm just sort of trimming down. I want to make space for some other little bits and pieces. I've freed up a shelf behind me down here. Um, I've got stuff coming, I've got America obviously in October so I'm kind of subconsciously thinking ahead and um, I wouldn't say I've fallen out of love with He-Man, Masters of the Universe, but I don't, I certainly don't buy it anymore. Um, the last thing I bought of that I can recall recently was the Filmation version of Hordak which was, oh, it's got to be three months ago now and before that the last Masters of the Universe that I bought was last year, 2017. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go and completely sell all my He-Man items, it's not working like that, but I'm kind of looking and thinking at certain things. I mean, I've got five or six Skeletors. I don't, I don't need five or six Skeletors, do you know what I mean? So, I'm just looking at bits and pieces and subconsciously thinking about America and other things and, and um, gonna pull a few little bits and pieces out. Along with everything else, I've got all this plastic crack amongst other things, comics, books, all sorts, even alarm clocks now. So yeah, guys, if you're in sort of the London area, be sure to try and get yourself down to Sandown Park on uh, September the 15th. I'm currently booked in for six shows between now and December. I will be appearing at the NEC in December, not September. I'm not going to be at a September show. Um, or not as a trader anyway, I will be going there as a collector, not as a trader. But I am there in December, I'm also going to be in Manchester. A lot of people are asking me when I'm going to be doing a show up north, the 29th of December, um, at Bolton Wanderers, Macron 
uh, stadium, I'm going to be stalling out a BP Toy Fair there. So I will be in Manchester a few days after Christmas, which is two days after the NEC. So I'm going to be doing two shows in three days. Um, so guys, I'm giving six months notice here. Yeah. I don't want people messaging me and saying, oh, you didn't make it away, you didn't make us away. I'm making people that have never seen my stall or never ever seen me at a show or anything. I'm going to be in Birmingham and Manchester in December. In between them, I've got two Sandown Park toy shows. I'm also going to be at Brentwood um, toy show in Essex the end of September, the day before Birmingham, funny enough, and I'm also going to be at Comic Mart in London in October. So there's loads and loads going on, guys, as well as working full time. Don't even go, don't even ask. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, I am on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are below. If you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. Click the subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching. Until the next video, I'll see you all then.